Hi, welcome back to Fake It To You Make It or Hi, if you're new, I'm Katie. Today I am decorating my Skinny Classic for the week of October 25th, which is also Halloween week. So, of course, I am using the Happy Planner Halloween sticker book again for the last time. Um, I really have enjoyed using this sticker book. I love it. I think it's super cute. Um, so, of course, I had to use it in my Skinny Classic. So the tail end of last week and this past weekend were super busy for us. We had a lot going on. It was all good things. Um, my daughter had a soccer tournament. Um, the four of us went to an apple orchard and did some zombie paintball. We went to my mom's for dinner and carved pumpkins. I enjoyed some time with my family for my birthday. But man, oh man, I was pooped yesterday. Um... I, it is Monday when I'm doing this voiceover and I was just exhausted yesterday, but in the best way. So I'm looking forward to hopefully a little slower week. Um, we have soccer games this weekend too, both days, one each day. Um, but luckily not, um, a tournament. One is also a home game. So that'll be a little bit, a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping for a little, uh, more chill week and weekend and not so busy. I really enjoy doing all the things and seeing everybody, but sometimes it can be a lot too, if you know what I mean. I love this sticker with the little cauldron and the witch's feet sticking out. I think it's adorable. Um, there were a couple like this or maybe an icon in this book, so I thought it was perfect for Halloween. So, of course, I had to use that. And I love these stars with the, like, the gold foil and the pink and the, like, the corally orange color. I just think are so cute. So, of course, I had to use that as well. So today in stories, my friend Annabelle at the Curvy Planner shared that Hallmark is already like releasing their Hallmark movie lineup. So you have to let me know down below, are you a Hallmark Christmas movie lover? I know it's crazy. Like here I'm decorating a Halloween spread, but we're talking about Christmas, but I, I have to know. I have to know if you enjoy those movies. I am a sucker for those movies. My family makes fun of me about them. They tease me about how the plot line is all the same, but I think it's just something like whenever you watch a Hallmark movie, you know what you're going to get a happy ending. Like it's just, you know, warm, fuzzy, happy ending. Everybody's happy, which is not real life at all. But sometimes I don't know, maybe it's my job. <laughs> I, that because it's so stressful, sometimes I just really enjoy something like sappy sweet like that. And so I love Hallmark movies. I watch them all season long, starting in November, and will drive my family crazy. So they're probably sad that it's that time of year. Although I think my daughter, who is 16, she will also enjoy a good Hallmark movie with me. I think she's team Hallmark movie too. So let me know down below. Are you team Hallmark movie or not? We can still be friends even if you're not. I'm just curious. So I was just showing you this pen. It is a Uniball Signo white pen. If you've watched my videos, you know this is what I use in all my videos. I think it's much better than the gel pens. I also always say that. I do get it off Amazon in a three-pack for $6.99, I believe. There is, will be a link in the description box um, if you want to try it out. And then I, of course, pulled some black um, boxes from Colorful Boxes. So I have some place to write all the things we have to do this week. The soccer practice, soccer games, appointments, you know, all, all the adulting things, all the mom life stuff. So let me know down below, what are your plans for this weekend? Um, are you doing anything for Halloween? Are you going to a Halloween party? Are you going out to dinner? If you have kids, are you trick-or-treating or trunk or treating or just having a small family gathering? Let me know. I'm curious as to what everyone's doing. 
we do not have plans yet. Um, my kids are teenagers, and so I don't really know what they're doing yet. They don't know what they're doing yet. They're very, very fickle. Although my 18-year-old, I guess he's technically not a kid, he will be doing nothing. He'll probably be home, like, playing video games or maybe even working because he usually works on Sundays, so... He may even be working that day. I'm, I'm not sure. My daughter, I think, will hang out with some friends, but again, isn't sure. Sometimes these teenagers, they can't ever make up their minds. I don't know. So, but let me know what your plans are in um, the comment section down below. So I have to say, I still love my Skinny Classic. So this is the second year I've used a Skinny Classic. I used one all last year and then this year, and I don't think that I'm going to change. I know some people use minis or, you know, talk about using something different. I love this planner. My only wish was that Happy Planner would make more of them and maybe like more accessories. Like I would love for them to make a little zip up wallet. Um, I know there was a planner purse that fit this, but I would like something a little smaller or like a folio that had a snap. Wouldn't that be nice how they have like the planner covers for the classic and big sizes? Um, do you remember those? I wish they would make something like that for the skinny classic. That would make it like perfect because I would love to change out, you know, my wallet or, you know, just more accessories even just across the board, I like accessories. They're my favorite thing. Like I love the planner bands and the pouches and all that stuff. What, let me know down below. Do you like those things too? Like what is your favorite like planning item? I mean, obviously like we all like the stickers, but for me, it's the accessories. I love the pouches, like case of the bands, all that stuff. That is my jam. Of course, I'm just adding these stars all over to kind of tie it in. I think these are really pretty. Um, I just, I love the colors and I don't know. This sticker book is just so fun and colorful. I like the little touch of pink. And then I found this cute little skull and crossbones. I just thought he was adorable. So I have to add him in um, just to, you know, give it a little, a little extra spooky flair. Um, but since we're talking about Halloween and not Christmas Hallmark movies anymore, what is your favorite Halloween candy? What, like, what is it that you purchase to give away? And what is it that you would steal? If you have kids, what would you steal out of their baskets? Like, what's your favorite? I love a good Kit Kat, but I don't eat it like a normal person. I have to nibble the chocolate around the edges and then pull each layer off with my teeth and eat it that way. Let me know if you're a Kit Kat lover, if you eat it that way or you eat it like a normal person. <laughs> I really want to know. Um, I also... What other candy do I like? Mm, an Almond Joy is good. And also, like, I mean, who doesn't like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? Like, those are also pretty delicious, I have to say. But let me know your favorite Halloween candy in the description box below. Sorry, not description box. In the comments down below. I had to peel this black box up. It was crooked. And then you will see me peel it up, I think, again, because after I lay it down, I don't like that all the boxes are lined up on the left side of the page. Maybe that's a little weird, but I just, I don't know when it, when, when it is I do it in this video, but I know I end up changing it because I don't like how it's like even Steven like that. It just bothered me, so I end up picking it up and then moving it to the right 
here it is right here with my my little poker tool I don't know what else to call that um Sydney at Sydney plan Sydney at Sydney plans it um also has something like this and I was kind of joking with her calling it a poker like I don't that's the official name I don't know what else you call it but honestly that little tool works so good for like even placing little stickers but also for getting under your sticker without ripping it like the tweezers are if you think the tweezers are nice that little poker tool um a trademark official name is seriously amazing I I don't know what I did without it and just in case you're wondering I did pick it up I believe it was at Joann's maybe in the sewing section because I think it came with those tweezers but um, it just works so well And this is another favorite sticker of mine, this um, little crystal ball with the eye in it. I don't know why. I think it's like creepy cool and I just like it so much. I love this sticker book. I know you guys are sick of hearing me say it. You won't have to. I promise. Like, I think this is the last, is this the last video I used this in? I don't remember now. But if it's not, there might be one other and then I'm done and then I'm on to fall and it will be all fall things until December 1 and then I will be Christmas for a whole month. I can't help myself. I like all the seasons. You have to let me know, are you a seasonal planner? Do you like using all the seasonal stickers? I feel like a lot of us are that way. Like almost all of us, like we really enjoy decorating our planners for the seasons, um, for me, I just enjoy this time of year the most, even more like I'm not a super like flower floral lover. I know some people get super excited in spring and like flowers everywhere. That's not me. Like this time of year is my jam with Halloween and fall and Christmas. That's really what I enjoy most. And these cute little spiders, um, I could have used a whole page of these. They're so cute. Um, I could have put them in like every single spread. So I hope they come out with something this cute next year because I really like this sticker book. And I, I just think it's so cute. But I want to say thank you so much for sticking with me, for watching. Um, I appreciate your support. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great week and a happy Halloween. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye.